Welcome again to the Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling podcast. I've dispatched with that dirty, disgusting, slimy sleaze ball El Hobo Trace El Vagabundo Dos. I had to break his arm, and bite, bite his nose. nose off, put him in the hobo choke. And I left them out there for the raccoons to do stuff too. The raccoons are very bad critters. But again, I'd like to thank you for watching the Hobo and his Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also, coming soon, I really hope, get your cheap pop. Southern Pro Lucha Libre. We'll see what happens with that sometime in, in July, maybe, I hope. All depends if I have to fight El Vagabundo, El Hobo, Trace, those. Again, keep them off my turf. Hobo turf war. A Hobo street fight. Where it takes all the aluminum. But we are here not to talk about El Hobo, El Vagabundo, Dos, Cuatro, Cinco. But instead, we're going to make our predictions for this weekend's big wrestling card which is taking place in Chicago. And we're going to start off with NXT TakeOver, which for some reason is always the, the better of the two cards. So we're going to make our predictions. And then one day when we have more production value, we're going to see if there's going to be punishment or reward on whoever gets the most correct. That can be good. Bad. Or the ugly. So again, we're going to start with NXT TakeOver. Um, I, I have no idea which match is the match order, so we're just going to kind of go through the card as I saw it. First, we have the tag team titles of the Undisputed Era, held by Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong versus Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch. I shall go first. The Undisputed Era retain through shenanigans by Adam Cole, baby! Who do you have? I'll do Adam Cole, baby. So again, she has Undisputed Era winning. Then we go on to which should be the main event of WrestleMania. The Velveteen Dream versus King Ricochet. Or Ricochet. Now, you go. I say King Ricochet. So do I. King Ricochet, that's going to be amazing. That could highlight WrestleMania, WrestleMania Kingdom of Honor. Can King Ricochet wins. Then we have the women's match. Shayna Baszler versus Nikki Cross. I want Nikki Cross to win. She's like... A four foot nine squirrel who ate too many coffee grounds. I'm gonna say Nikki too. Whoa. Okay, then we have the next match, which for some reason is not the main event, but we have Lars Sullivan versus Alistair Black. I'm going with the Black. Oh, this is good because this is where we vary. Even though I do want to see Alistair Black win, I think they're going to put the belt on Lars Sullivan just as a transition champion or someone who Alistair Black has to overcome. Good stuff. NXT, Mr. Paul Levesque, if you choose to go with that, give all the credit to Hobo Tom. And, then, and his girlfriend. And then in the main event, we have a street fight between Tommaso Ciampa, the Sicilian psycho killer, against Johnny Ras Johnny Gargano Wrestling, or Johnny Wrestling Gargano. I think this is going to be a little bit wonky, only because for some reason. For good or bad, Candice LeRae, who is married to Johnny Gargano, 
and they've talked about that a lot in kayfabe and in wrestling. I think she might do something wonky like throw the towel in for her husband. So I'm going to say Tomaso Ciampa wins. I'm going to go for Johnny. Johnny Wrestling! So that's our NXT take, 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 TakeOver. I think that's all the cards that are there. Again, maybe one day if we do get some, some Super Chats, maybe I'll have a contest out there, whoever can outpick us. Maybe they can actually get a signed edition of our notes. Or in this case, the notes we had for NXT TakeOver. Or, as I demasked him, the mask of Dos El Hobo Tre El Vagabundo. And I'll get a signed copy of that, signed by Hobo Tom. And his girlfriend. And his girlfriend. So this is going to lead to... Oh, wait, the wrong set of notes. Put the good notes up. Thank you. Gesundheit. Bless you. Thank and you. And Sniffle Moisture. So now we're going to talk about really the main show, Money in the Bank. And I have no idea where this card is going to start off. It's chill. Did you have too many Mexican spices when El Hobo Dos Trace Vagabundo L was here? Maybe. But again, we'll, we'll start off at... <laughs> Sweetie, maybe you're allergic to wrestling. I hope you're not allergic to me. <laughs> so we'll start off. This podcast isn't going to last long if one of us is allergic to wrestling. Let's keep so, going. So, so let's start off. I think in the pre-show, it's going to be the Good Brothers or the Club of Gals and Anderson versus the Bludgeon Brothers. I'll go first. I'm, I I just want to see the, the the club win. I have to do something good with them. Who do you have? I'll go with the other team. The Bludgeon Brothers? Yep. They'll, they'll probably win. I think the math has the Bludgeon Brothers winning. But I don't like the math. I don't know. The, the, the whole setup for this card is kind of weird anyway. But we'll, we'll get to that later. In our review, which I'm sorry about, but I had to deal with El Vagabundo Hobo El Dos. And I had to kind of postpone things a little bit. So again, look for kind of next day our Raw and SmackDown combined review. So then we have... Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal. Lol, Roman wins. The other guy. Jinder Mahal. It's interesting. I like that thing. It's good to be different. Variety is the spice of life. And so is paprika, crushed red pepper, cumin, coriander. Am I missing any spices? We need to go mild. Okay. Instead of spicy hot. Okay. So sweet, maybe. Orange blossom honey. There we go. Then we have Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. I think because this is the second match, Bryan won the first one. I think Big Cass is going to win this one. I say the other guy. And what that means... Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Why yes? And oh. Yeah. So we'll see. Now we finally get to kind of the main part. Part we have, and the I, again, I don't know what order this is going to be in. Oh, got this one. Sami Zayn versus Bobby Lashley. Who do you have going on? Bobby. 
Well, since I just beat up El Hobolo, Quatro, Vagabundo, Los Dos, I'll say Sami Zayn. Only because he was El Generico! Ole, 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 ole. Oh, yes, and for those of you, the World Cup of Soccer starts up actually tomorrow. Again, the one time every four years I get really excited about soccer. Yeah, it's fun. The USA is in it. In it. Uh, so I'm rooting for a match between the Germans and Brazil. Yeah. And back to the cards. So then we have, again, I have no idea. We have the women's rock champion, Nia Jax, versus Ronda Rousey. I say Nia Jax. They're not going to take the belt off her yet. Who do you have? Same as you. Okay. Then the other women's championship. Again, I don't know what the order is. We have Carmella. C A R M E L L A is fabulous. Versus Oscar. Oscar's going to kill you. So I think Oscar's going to take the belt off Car Carmella. I'm going to go with Oscar. And then, let's see here. So we have Seth Rhines versus the original El Vagabundo. I shall call him by his true name, the Drifter Eli Samson. I think Seth is going to retain. I don't see Elias being an Intercontinental Championship yet. How good you? Okay, two for Seth. Then let's get into the fun stuff. We have the women's money in the bank. So we have Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair. Oh, Ember Moon, Alexa Bliss, Natalia, Lana, Naomi, and Sasha Banks. I say Becky Lynch, because I can't see anyone else really holding that money in the bank. Unless it's Sasha Banks, and they do something with her and Bailey. It's not going to be Ember Moon. I'll say Becky Lynch. I'll say Becky Lynch, too. Yes, the Irish last kicker. That's good. And then we have the men's money in the bank. Uh, Braun Strowman versus Finn Balor. Versus The Miz, versus Rusev, versus Bobby Roode, because it should be glorious. Versus Kevin Owens, versus Samoa Joe. And someone from the New Day. They haven't picked someone yet. That's right, it's weird. No one from the New Day is winning. Finn already had his briefcase moment. I say it's going to be Braun Strowman. Say it's going to be the other guys. Which one? Bobby Ray. Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. Because it's cool, because you want it to be. Glorious. And I guess what's going to be the main event, because Brock Lesnar's not going to be there. We have in a last man standing match, which means... The last man standing after a 10 count wins. We have the phenomenal AJ Styles versus Nakamura Shinsuke. So we have the Bullet Club versus Chaos again. I chose first last time you you go. I'm gonna go to the bullet club. Cause she's b b b b bullet club. Or love forever. No, for life, life, life. And if you're old like me, you know what I'm talking about. I think AJ Styles is going to win too. The only reason I say so, Nakamura stood tall 
Again, I'll get into that in the next video when I do the SmackDown review. The math says AJ Styles wins. Hopefully they could keep this going till SummerSlam. WrestleMania seems like a stretch. We'll see what happens. Again, thank you for watching the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. Couple news notes. One more month. I get my live stream ban lifted. Yay! That means one day some lucky listener who sends me their address will get as a contest, maybe, the signed notes from Hobo Tom and his girlfriend. Even though it looks like a grocery list or laundry list, these as our notes. Chicken scratch. Valuable chicken scratch. I hope. One day. And please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Also Gmail, also email at hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. Good things have happened to people. I've put some bonus footage up for Nostrin. Give a shout out to Timmy Martha and and made a little video for him. The beast something. Sent a video out just because he left a comment and subscribed. Again, good things will happen to you. And then when I get my super chat, it'll be a lot more interactive. And I can figure out if, if we ever get super chat. Because you know, sometimes they pay people to like drink for some reason. And? Well, I would do that for free. So we have to think of something else in people's super chat. Well, we'll have to talk about that. Again, thank you for watching. Everyone, have a good night. Bye. Bye.